Well, good day. This is Ziggy's Bees. Welcome. I'm Shane. And these are the bees. And they are pretty active today. I'll get down to one hive down there. Go to the back because what they keep doing is landing all over me. <laughs> See quite a bit of activity here. Over here too. Underneath there. They flying. Yeah, it's November 15th. Nine degrees. Nobody in there right now. <laughs> they were eating them. So I came, uh, what I'm doing actually is here, is uh, basically I'm checking the hive alive. Get out of here, fly. Lots of bees down there. I don't know if you can actually see them moving. Lots of them. And the fact they're moving is good. <laughs> That's good to me. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy there like that. I don't want that like that. Oh, when I put the uh, Reflectex in the lids, on the lids, whatever you want to say. Yeah, so anyway, I think, yeah, uh, I've already checked them. Uh, they're all doing good. There's there's lots of uh, Hive Alive, or enough anyway, in all of them. And uh, they've all got bees. <laughs> I don't see any in here. But I do see them here. There's bees down there. They're just not eating that hive alive at the moment. Huh. It's okay. I'll get to it whenever you need it, I guess. <laughs> Compressing gotta go on here. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so I've all got enough. But yeah, uh, November 15th, like I said, 9 degrees Celsius. So they're flying. They're not flying far, just out and about flying. I'm assuming those are a bunch of cleansing flights because I don't see them taking off too far or coming back from too far away. <laughs> ah, it is. The sun was just out. It's gone now. Yeah. I guess everything's uh, progressing the way it should. <laughs> There's nothing really to talk about. Oh, except for uh, it was a live show last night and they were talking about um, oh, whether or not or how sorry, how could they I'm trying to get this back on here <laughs> okay, so they were talking about how or if they could prove that uh, honeybees, uh, if they're flying, they're dying kind of attitude. That's, I believe that's what, you know, was going on. But in, in that conversation, I didn't, I, my computer and my internet suck so bad that uh, by the time I tried to have a conversation, I tried to make some, say some things, but I couldn't get it 
there until my computer froze and then the internet went out when I did get back. The computer stopped froze, it freezing, whatever. The internet went out and so by the time it got back on, uh, uh, they were actually finishing, they were about a minute away from finishing their, their talk. <laughs> now they were talking about winter workers, or winter bees. And one lad said that they're, they're the same as, uh, basically the same as summer workers. And I wanted to kind of say that to me they're not. In fact, I believe a lot of entomologists also agree or say that they think winter bees should be a whole different cast of bee. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that and basically the main difference between a winter bee and your summer bees are the enlarged fat bodies. Now within those fat bodies are all kinds of nutrients and carbohydrates and proteins and molecules and all that but what is really really uh, stand out about all of it, it, the winter bee is designed when or, or created when there is lack of protein pollen coming into the colony, not the temperatures. It coincides with the temperatures, but that's not what sets off the uh, queen laying winter bees. Now winter bees, along with all those extra stores in their fat bodies, is one of the uh, nutrients called vitellogenin. Vitellogen Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, anyway, yeah, I think it's vitellogenin. And that allows the, the winter bees to create brood food with the absence of pollen. So there's a whole different world for that. That winter bee is a different bee. It's, it's not like a summer bee that can do simple feeding. Um, in fact, the winter bee, the reason a lot of them die out through the winter and they can live up to six months. Now the reason they, and more, a little more than six months, the reason they die out in the winter, some of them, is because all those stores which are in their fat body are being given to the brood. Now they're eating some of it, and, you know, they're using some of it for their own food, but that vitelligenin is what allows them to create a secretion protein rich just the same as pollen and without those winter bees being able to store that in the quantities that they do which is well over the quantities of a summer bee in order for them to store that they need to be a physiologically different bee now, there's a whole in-depth talk <laughs> that could go along with that, but that's my belief. Now, I do go along with some of the entomologists. I do think it should be a separate cast. Um, to me, it's like looking at a worker bee and a queen bee, and those are two separate casts of bee, yet they're both female. So, a winter bee and a queen bee are also two separate casts. It's, 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 it's arguable as to whether that's, you know, your, your, uh, the case or not. But what isn't arguable is the fact that winter bees can live for, like I said, six months or more. Summer bees die within 45 days. Um, and they, and they cannot store the same kind of 
quantities of nutrients that are required to feed brood without in the absence of pollen. So the winter bees, they literally feed all of their fat stores to the brood when the queen starts laying in the spring previous to any pollen coming in the colony and throughout the winter too to the point where they will kill themselves feeding the brood inside the hive because that's what they're made, built for. They're like a living storage unit for food. <laughs> anyway, uh, at least that's how I've taken what I've read. What I've read, sorry, not what I've read. <laughs> so, Arguably, whether or not you can make bees last longer than you are, they already are, I, I don't know if there's a point to that. If it's to make more bees, people simply do that by waiting till the pollen is done and the queen has laid all of her winter bees. She won't lay winter bees if there's pollen coming into the colony. So if you have natural pollen coming in, you know it's about to stop. If you continue feeding pollen, high quality pollen, she'll keep brooding and will not make winter bees. One thing they say that is good about that, or what could be good about that, is if she's not making winter bees till later, later in the fall, then they have that much more time to live. I don't see that as being a sensible point, I don't know, I just see it as you're just taking a bee that's going to die anyway because it's feeding itself, literally, to the brood, and that's its job. More? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Such a confusing thing. But anyway, Let's see if we're still running. Oh my gosh, I'm still running. I'm, uh, yeah, I don't know. Looks like the bees are pretty, you know, mellowed out now. Uh, I'm just hoping. Yeah, I'm just hoping it's not a big deal. So tomorrow, just looking at the temperatures, tomorrow's supposed to be about 11 Celsius. And then the next day's supposed to drop to 2 Celsius. I was going to put on some feed, uh, liquid feed, you know, for four days, five days. If it was going to be that warm for that long, I was asking uh, a couple guys there, one of the chats, I think it was Charlie. Yeah, I think I was asking Charlie if he would, and he thought he would if, you know, if the temperatures were going to be that well, that good for that many days. But, you know how our weathermen are. They were wrong. <laughs> Who's surprised, surprised? <laughs> wow, I can't believe how many bees be flying. Tomorrow I guess I'll be flying even more. Well, that was her. That was about all I could show you. I guess for more excitement, it would be better to come tomorrow and show you a whole bunch of bees flying, because when I got here, they were flying. But once I set up the camera and everything, of course, the sun disappeared. <laughs> kind of. And so did the big amount of bees. Unless, of course, they just see my car and they get all excited. I don't know. <laughs> just joking. All right, so we'll talk to you later. I got to come back again at uh, some point. Um, you know, keep checking on the hive alive and uh, seeing things are good. Everything's looking good. There's bees in all the boxes, except for that one box. There is bees in it, but there was no bees in the hive alive. Which could be concerning, because all the others were, so why weren't they?
Yeah, okay. So, Vitelligenin. Check that out. And uh, Winter Bees. Check it out. I mean, we uh, you got everyone's got that that computer. It's got such power. And don't don't just listen to somebody you know like me. <laughs> I might be wrong. I might have read it wrong. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, you know, check stuff out yourself. Really, as as for everything. In fact, I, I say. Uh, Ignorance is not bliss. It's just a way to lose all kinds of things. Yeah. Okay. So well, that's about it. So, I'm uh, wanting to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. Um, I, I'm pushing up near 100. That's pretty amazing to me. So, especially from, like... There's people from around the world. I mean, around the world. I was, I was uh, quite, uh, quite impressed. Not impressed, but wow! You know, you sit there and think, someone from Siberia is, is subscribed to my channel. Siberia, wow! <laughs> and yeah, there's some from Asia. And uh, the UK and Africa and of course the states all over the states and Canada uh, I mean wow <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty cool that's the that to me is right there is the cool thing about the internet and this social media world not you know, fake stuff and people showing too much of something so that you'll click on their channel. People, just people, you know. Anyways, that's what uh, all I have to say. And I'm sure I'll hear from some people as to their opinions on winter bees, and I hope so. I hope people comment. I'd, I'd like to get more comments. That would be great. Um, don't know what else. I think that was all I wanted to talk about. Not that I wanted to talk about it. I just wanted to have something to talk about while I was showing you the beats. <laughs> or lack of. <laughs> Alright. Take care. Have a good one. We'll see you the next time.